Hey you guys, it's me, and today I wanted to do a monthly favorites video, and hopefully I will be able to keep it up every month. So let's get started. My first thing is the It Cosmetics CC Cream, and if you watched my vlog, you would have seen that I was using the Estee Lauder EE Cream, but it's very sheer. It's more of like a tinted um, SPF. This is really great for an everyday use if you don't want to use foundation. Um, it has more coverage. It's not a lot of coverage, but it's enough for me for every day. I've been loving this a lot, and this is the color light, and it's just perfect, and it's what I have on today. Another favorite that I have been using in almost every video is the Age Rewind, and this is the highlighter. Um, it's not the concealer, but the highlighter. I, there are days where I don't even use concealer and I'll just have this to highlight my bags and it looks great. <laughs> this has come in handy so, so much because I really haven't been sleeping that much but people keep saying like, oh, you look so refreshed and I really think it's because of this and I just add it under my eye and then I add some concealer if I have time. If I don't, I just add this um, and it looks great. So I've Usually the combo is just this and I'm okay with it. So yeah, thank you Maybelline. Another cosmetic item is the Glossier Boy Brow. Now I have been using the Benefit Gimme Brow, but I like this one better because it doesn't feel as gunky. Not saying Gimme Brow is gunky gunky, but it does kind of come out in clumps if you don't clear the brush before you apply. Um, this one I don't have that much of a problem. It could be because the color is lighter, but it's just easier to use for some reason. I don't know how it would be so different, but it is. <laughs> um, yeah, Glossier, I love their packaging. Unfortunately, I don't like their other skincare items. I've never tried the mask. I have tried the lotion and the rose spray. They really make my face... Um, I don't know, it feels like there's alcohol. It says there's no alcohol, but it feels like there's alcohol and it really hurts. But um, so far, I've been really pleased with this. So I've been using this every day and I like it a lot. So if you have really light eyebrows, um, you can use it as an everyday, you don't need a pencil, just fill it in. Um, or you can just use it to have your eyebrows set into place because my eyebrows are very fair, fine. They kind of go everywhere, so it works for every day. I don't know if you remember seeing my vlogmas last year and when I purchased the nude products because my skin was feeling a little tired and not, I don't know, it didn't feel, I feel like I had lost the glow really. Um, but luckily because of the trial product, I feel like my skin has gotten back to, well it's not, it's best, but it's better. I have fallen in love with these products so much that I can't wait to finish the sample size so that I can go to Sephora and buy the regular size. So this is the face wash and it is the brightening fizzy powder. Um, I like it so much. You know what? They, there are, there were six packages or seven packages in here and I have four left. You don't really need to use that much when you wash your face and it tells you to only use it like a few times a week which sometimes I do and sometimes I use it every day but every time I use it, it does fizz up and it feels really nice it's kind of like it's it's, it's exfoliating so hard um, but it also, like when you rinse it off your skin immediately feels really really soft and smooth it's weird but it's really nice because it feels like it's clean but it's still got that nice smooth texture. I love it. I can't wait to buy the full bottle. This is the rescue oil and I know there's another one. So far I have loved the rescue oil and I might try the other one full size because I've heard good things about them both. And for the price of a full size compared to other oil lines that Sephora carries for example, it's really on the affordable side. It's still pricey but it's on the affordable side. Um, but yeah, I have been using this every single day, morning and night. Toner, put this on, and then I put the moisturizer on. Because you want to go from the most lightest texture to the most creamiest. So this usually comes on before you put on your night cream. If you're a mom, you know, and if you're not, then you're going to learn that you don't have that much time to take a shower or bathe or anything. So. If you don't have time to shower, then you really don't have time to put 
cream all over your body so you feel nice and smooth and that's why this guy has really helped me out it's the Nivea in shower body lotion it's basically the same thing as the body conditioner from Lush um, just not as expensive and after you wash yourself with soap and whatever then you rinse off then you kind of step away from the shower you kind of rub this all over yourself go back in the shower slightly rinse off and you're done it's basically a moisturizer that you don't have to do outside of the shower <laughs> so you're just doing it really quick inside and it just helps me so so much because sometimes I just don't have the time to be putting cream on my legs anymore and it does get dry I also like the smell of this. This is the cocoa butter one. I think they have one that's unscented and another one that's more of a clean scent sm smell, maybe? Um, but I really love the cocoa butter. It just kind of smells like a warm cashmere blanket type of thing. I know it's getting warm in Los Angeles, but yeah. This has come in handy. This is a sample that I got and it's the Cowshed Gorgeous Cow Blissful Body Lotion and I got it as a sample, but I like the smell so much that I've only been using it little by little <laughs> because I don't want to waste it. I have used this product before. I, I think it was at like a New York hotel or something like that, but I don't know. I like it a lot and I want to buy the full bottle, but I don't want, I don't know when I'll be able to go out and get it. So I've been kind of using little by little. I really like the smell, first off. It smells like, you know those square pink bubble gums that you used to get as a kid? It kind of smells like a soft pink bubble gum. It's really, really good. And also the texture is really good and it's actually moisturizing. A lot of these fancy lotions, I feel like the smell is really good, but it doesn't really moisturize and it's too watery and you just feel like your skin just drank it all in but this actually feels like it's working so I am right now keeping this by the side of my bed and right before I go to sleep I just moisture use it for my hands and arms and sometimes my feet and it just makes me feel a little better and I don't know it just feels really nice so yes love this last item I would like to thank my husband for this he gave it to me for my birthday and it's this adorable Mew Mew perfume and it's their new perfume. I believe Sephora just started carrying this. He had the hardest time finding it. I think he went to like Nordstrom's, Macy's and he finally found it at Bloomingdale's. He had never been to a Bloomingdale's before. Um, so it was a scavenger hunt for him but look at this. It's so beautiful and perfect and the colors so cute and the smell is so good. It's like like a soft florally but sort of retro smell I don't know how to explain it maybe if I go online it would give me a better description but it's so good and it's just so cute very Instagram worthy I think I love I love 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 this package I've always been a fan of Mew Mew so yeah thank you I love this because I know that after I use it I'm still gonna keep the bottle I'm gonna hoard this bottle. So that's it for my monthly favorites and hopefully, like I said in the beginning, that I will be able to keep it up. Um, I haven't been purchasing a lot of things, but maybe I can rediscover things that I have already had or that's kind of hidden somewhere or maybe i fall in love with a new sample or something hopefully you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you have or use any of the products thank you always so much for watching and if you like this kind of video and you want to see more monthly favorites please thumbs up it so i know and um subscribe please subscribe and if you can share share and if you know anybody who hasn't subscribed to my channel please share that as well thanks I'll be seeing you guys in a video very, very soon. Thanks for watching.